Hey folks, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another one of my uh, setting up my Star Wars room vlog videos. And um, yeah, just wanted to share that I, you know, my next step is basically lighting uh, for all my shelves. Um, pretty much everything is almost completely set up. I'm really, really excited and happy with how this room's looking now. So um, I know my, yeah, the lighting thing, that's my next big project. Um, that will hopefully happen over the next couple of months. I do have plans for exactly what I need to get. Just need to get the funds together to be able to do it. Um, so it should be an interesting project trying to trying to get all these shelves illuminated. And you know, I'm, my idea is to have you know one switch for like my three and three quarters, one switch for my black series, and then maybe some of my other shelves that I have around the have around the room may get some you know something something a little bit simpler. Maybe some like battery operated sensor light bars or something just for each individual shelf. So when you're close, I can flick them all on and sort of just display them that way for a short period of time, just on battery power. I think that'll work all right. Um, but yeah, for the moment, just sort of going through my three and three quarter inch collection, you know, some figures have sort of fallen over in the last few weeks, just trying to get all the spacing right um, the, way I, the way I like it. So playing around some figures that are falling over are getting stands. Um, yeah, just trying to find good space for everything to, to go and be able to display well. So once I get some lighting in there, everything will pop really nicely. I'm, I can't wait. Um, so yeah, basically I thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a look around the room, um, show you what I've been doing. Sort of finally got a, I went and bought a shelf, a set of shelf, glass shelves today, um, just on Facebook Marketplace, 50 bucks. So I thought that's perfect for my Clone Wars figures. So I'm in the process of setting them up. Um, hopefully by the end of the week I can you know, nut that out. It does take a little bit of time, but um, yeah, not looking to just slam it all in one day. Um, again, it always means moving, spacing, trying to get it, get the collection looking good and deciding exactly where I'm going to have it in the room. Luckily, it's on a shelf that can sort of slide around on the floorboards a little bit and it's it's heavy, but it, it, once, it's, once I get it to where I want it to be, it'll be good. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just take you around and have a little look about what, I, what I've been doing and um, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. All right, so yeah, got, got a window open here, which is nice. You get a little bit of indirect light from there. Um, so yeah, just sort of spacing out some of the shelves. Again, the, like I said with the lighting, you know, once these are all lit up, all those shelves, all the figures in the back there, it's just, it's gonna look so good, I can't wait. Um, let's just sort of space that out and make some more room for the N1 Starfighter in there. That came out looking pretty good for the, uh, that's sort of Mando era. I've got some Book of Boba Fett. It's going to start having some Ahsoka stuff. Um, I do have the Deluxe Sabine TBC figure on the way. Um, but yeah, for now, the Razor Crest sits up there just because of how big it is. A couple of other vehicles up there just for the moment. Um, I've started getting some more figures up on the wall, as you can see, sort of around the door. I'm going to get up. And yeah, not, not sort of set in stone to where they are, just wanted to get them up and out of boxes, off the floor. Um, some other figures on the wall there. I did get to start putting some artwork up, so I've got my um, Black Series artwork poster here by Stephen Hayford Plastics. Um, he, Stephen Hayford is a awesome artist. He does some incredible stuff. Um, I haven't seen him doing too much in recent years, but I got this signed by him at Star Wars Celebration in Orlando and uh, yeah, paid a bit of money to get that in a nice frame. So that's up on the wall above my Black Series. So I'm pretty thrilled with that. Uh, the Black Series is looking good. I did sort of rework the spacing for all these shelves since my last video. Just waiting for the phone call for the uh, Omega figure to go in with the, the, sort of the Season 2 Bad Batch which are all up there at the end of the Clone Wars, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, sort of just spacing some figures out. It's been good. They all look kind of cool now. Um, yeah, I may have touched on some of this last week, but um, yeah, everything's looking kind of cool. So this, this is going to be a quicker video, guys, but um, yeah, Clone Wars. So yeah, I found this awesome, this is like a, very early 2000s sort of style glass entertainment shelf you know you can put a tv on top and there's all the holes for the for the like all your dvd players and stuff like that in the back 
but yeah this is going to be for for clone wars i've got my atte on the top and i'm just sort of playing around with what i'm going to display up here so far i've got sort of all my realistic realistic style clone wars figures um so at the moment i'm going to put them up there just sort of going through got all my jedi and clones got my little siege of mandalore at the back there again this may not be its final final place i'm sort of in the middle of getting all the clones sort of set up on this side next shelf will be sort of villains uh bounty hunters etc under that will be sort of separatists villains stuff like that so i've got the crab droid and then down below you know my sort of um excuse the death watch trooper there but the sort of the live action tartakovsky clone war series now, i do need to get some wings for that attack shuttle i didn't pay too much for that so it was missing the wings but i decided that was a cool piece but yeah to have a space for you know solely for clone wars one of my favorite one of my favorite toy lines from hasbro three and three quarter inch still nowhere near completion but um yeah there's the there's the tub of figures that i need to sort of sort through and display so that's that's going to be fun but yeah let's sort of give you guys a bit of a bit of a quick update i do need to find a place for my lightsaber box of extras down there like custom fodder and duplicates and rejects and <laughs> got some customs in there that i need to display Little gifts from friends they'll probably find a place in here somewhere i uh, do need to find a detolf unit that's going to fit in that gap there i know it's sort of going to cover over some of this but you know it's fine that's so my hot toys are going to go in there but I think that'll be a nice, a nice sort of spot for it in that gap. And the beauty of it being glass, you can still sort of see through and see exactly what's there. And given that that shelf isn't directly on the wall, um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hide too much of it. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Just finding one of those at some point. But for now, you know, I've got the doorway there. Um, that, that's probably just going to stay there for the moment and I may even get some caster wheels to put on the bottom of it find a way to attach some wheels so when I do need to use the door um, I can just roll it over and the other option I have is just having it in the middle of the room <laughs> which works for a lot of people but I don't know I like having this sort of open space it's another little TV stand I bought that was $15 and uh, yeah sort of Started taking some photos and doing my reviews in that. That's working out all right. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, folks. I appreciate your time. Just a short update. But yeah, I'll be uh, keeping everyone updated as I go with the, uh, with the lighting, as I get onto that project. Hopefully next week I can order the lighting from Amazon to do the Black Series, um, which is, should be pretty simple. I'm just going to go some bar lights. Um, they're going to tuck under the shelves and uh, yeah that should be good I can get a set of eight um, they all connect up to one switch and there is a power point down down the bottom there so it's going to be good um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one may the force be with you always